Welcome back everybody to Hayes Techron Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go over Pure Nexus. Uh, this is, uh, at least I'm going to do this one on the uh, Nexus 6P. I know I normally do uh, my reviews on my Nexus 6, uh, but since um, Google's not really doing any major updates for the Nexus 6, uh, I think I'm going to start concentrating on doing a lot more reviews more on the uh, 6P. Now guys, you have to remember that um, the difference between the ROMs, the way they look uh, from the 6P and the Nexus 6 are minuscule. I mean, it's it's just minor. Uh, about the only differences are going to be in the uh, fingerprint scanner um, uh, controls and stuff like that. And, and that's really going to be the only difference. Um, so this review is uh, basically for the 6P and the Nexus 6. All right, let's go ahead and get back to this ROM. This is Pure Nexus. Now, I wanted to wait to do this ROM until um, until we got the latest update for it. Uh, I was waiting for the March push, uh, which is R26, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, and there were a lot of changes done to this. Uh, Beanstown 106 actually started to add uh, his own, or started to add uh, G apps in with the build. So now, guys, when you go to flash this ROM, um, the only thing you need to flash is the ROM. That's it. Uh, if you want super user, then you want to flash super user after you flash the ROM. But that's going to be your flash procedure. You're going to do all your wipes first. I recommend, I highly recommend, a very clean wipe. That's uh, uh, system, both caches, and your data. Um, but, you know, if you dirty flash, that's, that's your deal. Make sure you don't complain if you have a bug. Uh, you want to go with a clean flash first. But... Um, Beanstown started uh, making his builds with uh, the uh, G apps included right in with the ROM. Uh, they were doing it for the pe or for the uh, the Pixel and the Pixel XL, um, and they just decided to go ahead and start doing it with the uh, Nexus 6 uh, and the Nexus 6P. So uh, a lot of the developers are starting to do that now with the 7.1.1 builds uh, R26 and up. Um, they're they're just including the uh, G apps, and it makes it a lot easier. So you're going to do your flash or your, your wipe, and you're going to flash the ROM. And if you don't want super user, boot your boot your uh, phone up. That's it. Flash the ROM, boot your phone up. Now, if you want root because Pure Nexus doesn't come with root, uh, you're going to want to flash either super user or I use uh, PHHS uh, super user uh, and Magisk. All right, that's what I do. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get back into the ROM now. And the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go ahead and disable uh, my theme because I know uh, some of you out there don't like to see themes. You want to see what it looks like as flashed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we're going to go to bright white. So just a minute. All right, I went ahead and got rid of the theme. Uh, this way you guys can see what it looks like as flashed. And there we go. Uh, this is uh, Android version 7.1.1, and again, guys, I'm doing this on the Nexus 6P. Uh, this is um, uh, March 17th build, so it does have the March security patch in it. Uh, it's R26. Uh, now, I am experimenting with the kernels. Um, I, you guys know me. I like to run custom kernels. Uh, Blackbird uh, is my normal kernel that I like to run. It is still my favorite kernel, um, but uh, Hell's Core has been making a comeback uh, and they're also building for the Nexus 6P. They're, they're actually uh, building for quite a few different um, uh, devices uh, so I figured I'd give it a try and it's running great. I haven't even done anything uh, except uh, flash it and run it um, as you know as it comes flashed and I've had no problems at all with it. Uh, before I go ahead and get into the settings uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, quickly uh, what apps come with this. Uh, and I am, I, I am in Nova Launcher right now, and that's only because I want to show you guys um, this is what uh, it comes uh, as far as apps go. Um, and I use Nova Launcher because I can make a subfolder and put all of my apps that I uh, downloaded into my subfolder. That way you guys can see what this uh, comes with. Uh, you don't get a file manager. Um, you don't even, uh, let's see, file manager, and you don't even get a, a gallery. Uh, you have to use um, Google Photos, Google Photos for your gallery. Uh, so this is what you get. Okay. So um, also, I know you don't like to see this, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this again. 
And when I say uh, you guys don't like uh, to see Nova Launcher, uh, I mean, I, I know. You guys want to see what it looks like when you flash the ROM. So you're going to come, uh, it's going to come flashed with the uh, Pixel Launcher. Uh, and there it is. Um, yes, uh, I am running uh, TBO gaps. Uh, and I'm running the uh, TBO clear gaps. Uh, so if you guys don't, you know, want to use those gaps, it's not going to look like that. But I am not going to flash my ROM completely vanilla. Uh, just to show you guys what it looks like, um, you, you know, I'm sure that you guys have seen uh, what the, the other Nougat ROMs look like. So let's go ahead and get into this. I know you guys want to see the uh, settings and that. Not much has changed, to be honest with you, uh, as far as the custom settings go. Uh, and they are right here. If you go into them, uh, lock screen, uh, pretty much the same. I really didn't see anything different on that. Uh, you do have your lock screen items. Uh, if we bring that up. Uh, it's going to be your lock screen clock, uh, you know, your clock font, date, uh, and then your alarm text. Uh, double tap to sleep. Uh, then, of course, you can um, turn toggle on or off your, uh, your lock screen torch by long pressing the power button, you know, with the screen off. Uh, and then your media art cover. Uh, notification drawer is up next. This is going to be where you can uh, set up your uh, quick pull down, uh, you know, rows, columns, stuff like that. Uh, you can have your smart pull down on or off if you want. I mean, those are your options there. Um, uh, your advanced quick setting uh, toggle, you know, you can turn that on. Uh, brightness slider, all of that. Uh, right here would be your uh, columns layout. Uh, right now I'm running with uh, three columns. Uh, you guys can go as many as you want. Um, and the uh, number of rows is maxed out at five. Uh, and actually the way this is set up and how uh, I have my DPI set up uh, five is actually even a little bit too much because if you if you guys notice um, well no it's actually not with this uh, but you don't want your uh, your final row to go down into your um, uh, into your quick nav buttons or you you won't be able to use them so five's working out great on that um, and then you have your uh, of course your landscape uh, mode you know rows you guys can pick on that what whatever you want uh, I think it'll go up to three if I'm not mistaken yes three uh, it comes default at 2. I just leave it there. Um, then you have uh, your uh, quick setting headers. Now, this is uh, also uh, a feature that I really like. Now, if you don't want to run with the headers, you can just toggle that off. Uh, it comes um, f as flashed, already toggled off. Uh, but if you guys like to run headers like I do, toggle that on. Uh, you can go dynamic or static. Uh, basically, what that means is dynamic. Uh, you can pick between uh, a bunch of different... Uh, headers that will change throughout the course of the day. Uh, static means uh, you, if you choose that, you're going to want to get down to uh, the very bottom down here to the uh, browse installed headers. Pick the one you want, you long press it, and then that will set one header for you that won't change. Uh, so that's the difference between the two. Uh, these are the header, header packs that comes with it. And guys, um, it, it doesn't come with all of these header packs. I flashed a few. I'm, I'm running six headers. I'm running... Um, um, J Rod's headers, uh, so I've got a lot of headers on here. Uh, that's something I like to have, uh, you know, a lot of things to choose from as far as my headers go. So uh, don't expect to have that many headers on it, but you can get them. Just go to the Play Store; uh, they're free. They don't cost anything. Uh, install them, and you'll have all those headers as well. All right. Next up is going to be your recent apps. Uh, your immersive recents, these are what you have to choose from. I'm running full screen, which, uh, of course, I <laughs> killed all of my uh, recents earlier, so, you know. Uh, but it does run in full screen mode. It really looks nice. Uh, you have your clear all fab, uh, which is basically the clear all button, uh, and you do have six positions where you can choose from um, as as to where you want it to, to be at. I always choose bottom left. It just works better for me. I run with, I use my phone in my left hand, um, and that's just why I have it there. Uh, and no, I'm not left-handed, guys. I'm right-handed. I don't know why I use my phone on my left hand. I just do. Uh, status bar is up next. This is going to be all your custom settings as far as status bar options go. Um, you have you do have your battery setting. Uh, right now, I'm running without it. Uh, I'm just running with a battery bar. I am going to check um, because I think there is a battery, uh, a three-minute battery uh, zip available uh, on the Nexus P. Um, uh, three minute battery mod uh, thread on XDA. Um, if you guys go to my Google Plus community and go to the uh, drop down, uh, you know, or my welcome uh, area there at the very top of the page, uh, where I keep my links at, it is the very first link 
uh, in the list of links. Uh, it'll take you right to the Nexus 6 and um, and I think the Nexus 6P 3-minute uh, battery mods So um, on XDA. So if you guys want to run it, you know, that's where that'll be at. Um, but I figured, you know, I want to try to keep this stock, so I didn't even flash it. You know, let you guys see what this looks like. If you want, you could throw an icon up there. Let's go with a circle. Um, and it's not showing. Let me see. No, I went text. So there's a circle, so you guys can see it does work. Uh, it does have the battery bar. Thank you very much, Beanstown 106. I love my battery bar. Although, uh, if it didn't come with it, uh, they do have a nice bat uh, battery bar app in the Play Store uh, that's called uh, Team Battery Bar. Um, and it also comes in Team Battery Bar Pro. I highly recommend the Pro. It has a couple more features. Uh, it's well worth, I think it's 99 cents or $1.29. It's very cheap and it's well worth it. Carrier Label's up next. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, you can run with Verizon or Sprint or whatever you want, or you can change it to a custom, uh, which is what I did. I went lock screen and nav bar and basically just typed in what I wanted, and that's what I have for my carrier label. Uh, your clock settings, basic clock settings. You have right, left, center, or off if you don't want to run with it. Um, you have AM, PM, date, date style, uh, position, format, uh, network trafficking, um, or trafficking, listen to me, I sound like a drug lord. Uh, net, network traffic, if you guys want to show the network, uh, what kind of traffic you have, data coming in, going out, uh, you guys can turn that on, uh, and that'll uh, let you guys see where your data is going. Um, status bar icons, uh, this is where you can pick and choose what you actually want to show on your status bar uh, when those items uh, turn on or off. Um, just pick and choose what you want to show on there. Again, I like a very clean status bar. Especially if it's going to be white, I don't want it up there. If it's colored, I don't mind it up there. Uh, I love color in my status bar. Um, double tap to sleep if you want to run it. There it is. Uh, brightness control. Um, and, of course, the uh, show notification count. Uh, and show uh, Bluetooth battery status uh, when you're connected uh, to the Bluetooth device, which is really cool. Uh, I really like that. Uh, it, it gives you, um, it lets you know what the device's uh, battery level is at just by looking at your phone, which I think is awesome. So, if you guys are into that, listen to the music a lot, use Bluetooth, that's a good option to have. Uh, nav bar is up next. Um, basic, basic settings for the nav bar. Enable or disable. Uh, pixel nav bar animations, yes, uh, I do have that on. You don't have to run it if you don't want. Uh, you do have the one-handed mode, although I didn't try it, I can't tell you whether or not it works very well. Uh, and then you have the double tap to sleep. Uh, kill back, uh, kill app back button. It does work, um, and I didn't touch the delay. Uh, it's set at 1,000 milliseconds, and it works great. Uh, I haven't in, in, inadvertent, inadvertently hit uh, or killed an app just by hitting the back button. So uh, they do have that set up pretty nice. Uh, these are your nav bar dimensions. Uh, I think it, yep, it goes all the way up to 52 if you want. Um, but if you want more uh, screen space, you can drop it down to like 36 if you want. Um, uh, me, I kind of like it right where it's at, or sometimes I'll go 52 depending on my needs. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, and then your nav bar tuners all the way at the bottom. Again, this is going to be where you guys can space them out, uh, move them around. This is going to be where you do that at, okay? Uh, that takes care of the nav bar, power bar, or power menus up next. Uh, Pure Nexus comes with a lot of power, op power menu options. Uh, again, guys, this is one of the reasons I do like this ROM. Um, not only is it is it a very dependable ROM, uh, but it does come with a lot of options with the power menu. And you guys know me from my videos in the past. I've told you uh, I use my power menu a lot, and I like to have options there. Um, the volume rocker is up next. Uh, for those of you guys that like to listen to music uh, and, you, and you'd like to control that, uh, to have all your controls with your uh, rocker, your volume rockers, uh, this is going to be where you set that all up at. Uh, and these are your settings right here. Um, and I want to apologize now. Um, another reason I don't like to do my videos on the Nexus 6P, uh, no matter what I do, I can't get away from not having a touch sound whenever I touch the screen. Believe me, I've got all those sounds turned off, and it's not even turned on in the settings in the app that I use. But this phone, for some reason, when you cast, every time you touch the screen, you get that little click sound. So uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Um, displays up next. Uh, you do have your expanded desktop, uh, wake on plug, three fingered uh, screenshot, which I love that. Um, anywhere, no matter where you're at, 
All you have to do, and I'm going to show you, is just touch three fingers on the screen and swipe down, and it will take a screenshot. It's I just love that. Um, notification lights are up next, uh, and they're working great. Uh, not only can you set the color on this, uh, but you can also set, uh, you know, for your timer, you know, for the flashing. Uh, I have mine uh, set up for very short and fast, and it is blinking exactly the way I want it in the color I want. So kudos. Uh, to uh, Beanstown for that it everything's working great although again um, it would uh, it would work like that on the Nexus 6 too um, but the Nexus 6 is hardware just isn't set up for that so it is what it is uh, let's see next up would be the media and notifications um, double pat uh, double tap the power uh, button for camera uh, if you guys want to run with that uh, you do have your power notification controls uh, your peaking notifications and your low uh, battery notifications. Under peaking notifications, these are the settings for that. Um, and that's about it for the uh, media notifications. Uh, last but not least is going to be miscellaneous. Uh, you do have toast icon if you want to uh, have that clicked. I do like that feature. I do run with that. Uh, scrolling cache. Um, I just leave it default enabled. Uh, you can run force enabled if you want. I have seen issues with that. Um, I haven't tried it on the 6P. Uh, it works good on the 6. I haven't tried it on the 6P. It seems that everything's working good as far as scrolling goes for me, so I don't mess with it. I leave it where it's at. Uh, and then again, and la lastly in there is your in-call uh, vibration options. You can set them up, uh, you know, to vibrate on connect, uh, you know, vibrate uh, whenever you have a call, when you're on call waiting, uh, or even when you disconnect from a call. Uh, so those options are there for you. And that's pretty much it for the custom settings. Um, uh, again, uh, Substratum uh, is, uh, this is OMS, uh, so whenever you uh, download Substratum, if you're going to use it, it's going to be uh, the OMS version, uh, which gives you um, all of the options uh, that Substratum has, uh, as opposed to um, the legacy mode, which I know a lot of you guys like to use it because it's quicker, uh, and uh, it seems to be a little more, um, it seems to set better, at least from what I've in some of my testing and a lot of what I've heard from other people, it does seem to set better. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, all the themes I did uh, actually worked, and it and, and it built it uh, right about the you know about the time I was expecting it to. I didn't have any uh, uh, themes come up and say uh, this theme didn't take blah blah blah. So everything's working good. Uh, so that's uh, that's where you're going to find your themes at. Uh, and, and again, if you guys flash either Chainfire, Super Sue, or um, uh, Super User, it will show up in settings, uh, just like you see right here. Um, now, bear in mind that if you flash the uh, Super User, you're going to have to go to the Play Store and download the uh, PHH apostrophe S uh, Super User um, app, uh, so you guys can control that. Okay, uh, it's not going to just uh, have the app uh, in your app drawer when you uh, boot up. That's something you have to do. Uh, as an after note, uh, okay, just so you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit display real quick, let you guys see that. Uh, again, there's really nothing out of the ordinary as far as display goes. Uh, you have your ambient display there. Uh, if you guys want to run with ambient, uh, that's where you're going to turn that on. And then you have the uh, uh, VR settings all the way at the bottom along with the cast. Um, also, yeah, I, I forgot to tell you, um, although you guys, I know you saw it, uh, your font size, again, you can change your font size there, uh, as as well as the display size. This is something that came out in Nougat, uh, which is awesome. This is one of the things I do like about Nougat, one of the very few things that I like about Nougat, because you guys know me, I'm not a fan of Nougat. Um, next up would be sound. Uh, these are your sound settings. Again, I have mine turned all down, uh, except for the media volume, uh, just so you know I don't have any crazy things coming out on this and blowing you guys' eardrums out. Uh, but these are your settings for that. Uh, ringtones, everything is exactly the same in every other ROM. Uh, these are your, uh, your other sound settings. And again, I have a lot of things I would normally have on. I have them turned off for the video. Um, and I will go ahead and hit security for you and let you see what that looks like. Uh, these are your security settings. Now, it was strange. Uh, when I flashed this, I noticed that my device administrator was off by default. Uh, and I think that's because I normally turn it off anyways. Um, and I didn't do like a, uh, I didn't wipe my internal storage. Uh, I wiped data. I didn't do a dirty, uh, you know, a dirty install or a dirty flash. 
Uh, but I think that's that was picking it up, and that's one of the reasons why uh, it didn't uh, come on by default. But I may be wrong. It may be just off by default. So if you guys want to run with that de uh, device administrator and have that Android uh, administrator turned on, make sure you go in there and check to make sure it's on. Because I know some of you guys use that. In case you lose your phone, you'll have that to find it. Uh, make sure you have your unknown sources turned on, and that's about it. Screen pinning's all the way at the bottom, and your uh, apps with usage access is down there too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the developer options quickly, let you guys see what's in there. Uh, again, make sure OEM unlocking is already on. Uh, it is by default. Uh, don't mess with that. Leave it the way it is. Um, and uh, USB debugging, uh, that's turned on by default, but I do know that... Uh, I think I heard uh, that you have to have that turned off if you want to pass um, uh, the security uh, flat or the, uh, yeah, I can't even think. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, the checks anyways. Um, for you guys that want to run those apps and stuff like that, I was told that if you turn that Android debugging off, uh, that helps. Whether it does or not, I don't know. Um, but I like to have mine on just in case I hit the wall. I know I'm going to be able to connect to my phone through ADB and push some files over to it and get back up and running. Uh, this does come uh, by default set up uh, as far as drawing goes uh, and with all of your animations, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. Now I did, <laughs> I was trying to play with it um, on the animator uh, duration scale uh, and I got it off to 0.5. I was running it with uh, 1.5 to see what it was like and man does it lag. Don't do that. <laughs> so I went to put it back at 0.5 and I can't it's got one of those sliding scales. I hate these sliding scales. Guys, switch to the presets. Please. God, I hate them. Anyways, um, that's about it. I don't see anything else on here any different uh, or anything else that I should really bring up on there. Uh, that's pretty much it for Pure Nexus, guys. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I've said it in the past. Pure Nexus is one of those ROMs uh, that just runs and runs and runs. Um, it, like 6-ROM. Uh, guys, you know me. And I've said it in the past about 6-ROM. I love that ROM. Uh, Pure Nexus is, you know, it, this is one of those ROMs that if you want to flash a ROM and not have to screw with it, this is the ROM you want to run. These ROMs run trouble-free, all right? Uh, and now with the inclusion of the G apps, you don't even have to flash uh, those anymore. Flash to ROM, boot to system. If you want root, flash to ROM, Flash uh, super user, boot to system. It's that simple. Now, it, it gets more complicated if you add kernels in and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, if you don't want an, a, a custom kernel, if you don't want a root, flash to ROM, boot to system. That simple. All right, guys. Uh, that was pure Nexus for the Nexus 6P. And again, uh, also for the Nexus 6 because they are going to be identical. Um, if you guys liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next one.